This is a Poleworth fleece. It's very, very fine, nice and crimpy, and just cottony soft. I dyed some of it. I've got a soft gold, a turquoise, a bright blue, yellow, somewhere I have a red. What I'm doing, I think I invented it, but I don't know. I'm sure other people have done similar things. I call it fiber painting on a carded bat. This is my super card. And if you can see, I've already started, move in and you can see, I've already started and I probably have the drum card about half full of polewort. And this is what I'm doing. This is a very fine fiber. And running it through here very carefully one time will get it carded. But I'm going to actually run it through twice. I'm going to turn my drum card on. And as you can see, this bottom drum can go faster or slower. By slowing down the carding ratio, you get a better job of carding. If you have it too fast, it just pulls the fibers through and doesn't really card them. Now I'm going to do even more. I'm going to flick card before I put this in. I could finger pick it and put it in. Remember, you need to be able to see through the fiber. I'm going to twist it just above half and flick it open. This is a flicker. Then I hold it and flick the other end. Now this is ready. You can see how nice and open it is to run through the drum card. And still, I'm going to fan it out as I run it through. Why did I twist it? If you don't twist it, you're going to end up pulling out a lot of the fiber rather than just flicking it open. So by twisting it, you secure the fiber and then you're able to flick open the ends. Yes, this takes a little more time, but with this very fine crimpy fleece, it's going to be a step that actually saves me. This is the Flick Carter. It's basically very much like hand cards, but smaller and with bigger teeth. When you're flicking, use small bunches of fleece. Just You can reach in and, and pull out one or two locks. It's much easier. You can do it up here or you can do it on a surface. Why flick? I don't know if you can probably see, there's stuff. I don't know, this looks like dirt. Here's a weed. By flicking, you can see what comes out. I think you can see it on the table. Turn it over. That keeps all of that stuff from going into my carded bat. It also opens up the lock. You can see, let me get a pull a lock out of here. This lock is rather compacted. It's all together. Flicking opens it up. Another thing you don't want to do is grab a great big handful. It's actually going to take you much longer to flick this open than to divide this into about three parts and then work with it. Plus there will be less waste. On your flick card, a lot of times you'll find there will be noils, and you can see, look at all the stuff I flicked out. If you don't have a flicker, you can resort to a handy dandy dog comb. This is kind of a medium um, comb. It's not real fine, not real thick. Again, you're going to do it the same way. Give the fleece a twist and just comb it out. You open up the ends. and it's ready to go. Takes a little bit longer with the comb, but it's just as effective. Why did I twist it? If you don't twist it, you're going to end up pulling out 
a lot of the fiber rather than just flicking it open. So by twisting it, you secure the fiber and then you're able to flick open the ends. Now how did I get the color and how am I painting this? I don't know what I've done with my red. I'm going to take some turquoise and I'm just going to open this with my fingers and feed it through. Basically I put one layer of fiber on. Now I'm going to paint. Another way to paint kind of flick that lock was see I didn't twist it and see how much got pulled out another way to paint is to paint the fiber right on the drum cart with my luette I can turn it very slowly and paint directly on while it's running but with this it turns so fast that it flips the fiber off to the back so I'm going to turn it manually and just paint the fiber on. I'm doing it in a very random fashion. Just kind of get it down in. I can take my burnishing brush and get it down in a little bit more. What I'm going to do is card two painted bats. Then I'm going to split them, divide them and run them through together. Half of one and half of the other and the the effect will be very muted little spots of color in my roving so I'm really it doesn't matter I'm doing this in a rather random fashion I'll put on about this is my second layer I'll put on about three layers of paint painted fiber again I'm using Polworth you could use um, silk or something else. Now I'll turn this on. I use my burnishing brush. And I can I can lay it on the top or I can feed it in through the feed tray. And this bat is finished. Now I'm going to take it off. I'm not going to pull it off in roving this time because I'm going to split, split it and blend the two bats that I've carded. I used my colors, painted them on in random order again. Again, stripping it off. I'm going to use my, well, somewhere I have a doffer. Now I'm going to blend these two bats so that they come out a little more equal in the color. I'm going to tear each one in half. You don't have to get. Here's the other one. And you can see one side was on the bottom doesn't have any color and the top has some. I'm going to divide each half into three. Open this up so that I can feed it through slowly. Again, you should be able to read through and I'm going to alternate. Strip A, strip B, strip A, strip B. I finished carding and now I'm going to pull a roving hand over hand. I'm pulling the roving off the drum card. 